Hello, and welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today I'm making a winter theme card with a whimsy digital stamp, and I'm making it into a shaker card. So I made this panel on my computer with the stamp, and I cut out the snowflake using my scan and cut machine. I'm going to color it with some Copic markers, and I'll put the colors on the screen and in the description below for you to see. On the Copic coloring, I start with the darker colors and then move to the lighter colors and I start in the areas where the shadows will be. I did choose my colors based on how I wanted to do the picture, but also I'm doing the little girl a little bit darker complected because I'll probably send this to my sponsored child in Mexico. Also, I chose the colors based on the ones that had either the Copic original that has a fine nib or also used my Copic sketch that I replaced the broad tip with a fine nib. Since this is a small image, I wanted to have the smaller point. This video is part of a hop with Team Tiny. We're a group on Facebook of paper crafters who have less than a thousand subscribers on our YouTube channel. So we're working together to grow our channels. Now on this hop, the theme is winter, so you'll get a lot of winter inspiration. And also, Penny Stone has graciously donated it a prize for the viewers. So to win the prize, you need to comment on the videos, and she's going to pick the winner from the comments left on the video. So the more videos you watch and leave a comment, the more chance you have to win. And the prize she's giving away is a Spellbinders bundle of a die cut and foil pack. I'm going to make this into a shaker card. So I'm just putting some eighth inch score tape around the snowflake and then I've already cut a square piece of acetate that's just left over packaging and then I just adhere that to the back of the snowflake. Instead of using foam tape for my shaker I'm going to add some extra paper behind my card panel to make a well and I'm just gluing it together with some art glitter glue. So the card panel I have is just a little bit smaller than an A2 size card size. So I made this four by five and a quarter. And then I cut several other pieces and cut another snowflake in those at the same location. Now I was thinking that to get it to where it won't show up on the front here, I cut my snowflakes for the other papers larger, but then it didn't line up exactly, so it does show a little bit. Now, I did have trouble getting the shaker bits to shake in the well, so I'm thinking, actually, you could do a snowflake on the front like I did, and then the pieces behind it, you could actually cut in a circle or a square, and then you wouldn't have to worry about whether it lines up or not. I started to put some sequin mix in the well, but then I decided I should let the glue dry a little bit more before I did that. Now I'm taking a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock that I cut with a Lawn Fawn rectangle die that has a stitched edge around it. And then I'm just doing ink blending with my salvage patina around the sides and just in the corner where the shaker will show up. For the sentiment, I cut out some regular white cardstock with my Lawn Fawn, it's a simple banner die, and then I'm using their simple sayings, and this one says, flying by to say, I thought that would go great with the snow fairy. And then in the inside, you could put happy birthday, or saying hello, or thinking of you, or any sentiment that goes with when I send the card out. So I stamped it with the Salvage Patina Distress Ink since it stays wet enough to hold the um, embossing powder. And then I'm using Ranger embossing powder. And this is Aqua Tinsel. So this way I get 
both kind of double the same green. And I, using the embossing powder, give it some extra sparkle. This has some kind of glitter in it. Then I just use my embossing buddy to go around the side of my well just to make sure that it's not sticky on the side. I also noticed there was a little piece of the paper that was pulling up, so I did re-glue that. And then I started putting in my shaker mix. So I used pieces of a shaker mix called Sparklets from Buttons Glore and More, and it's called Sailor Sky. Now I did reorder that and get some more, but if you do order it, it's a little bit darker paint or darker um, aqua colors and purple colors than the mix that I have right now. And I'm just using the smaller pieces that's in that. I also put in some glass seed beads and then some other um, pieces that I had that was small. And I'll put all the things that I'm using in the description below. Then I just put some art glitter glue on the back and then here my back panel to the front. And some of the sequins got stuck to the back so then I had to pull it off and get those back out or pull out the ones that had glue on it. And then I threw in some more glass seed beads. And I put those in because they did move around in the snowflake better than some of the larger things. Then I'm using some foam squares to pop up my sentiment on the card. And then I use some stickles to decorate the fairy. I use some silver stickles for her belt and stars. And I use cool mint stickles to go around the, looks kind of like pom-poms around the bottom of her dress. And then I use some crystal stickles on the little pom-poms on her feet. Then I added some gems and some little crystals things. And that's from the Sailor Sky Sparklets mix. And also I have some jewels from Pretty Pink Posh, which is their aquamarine color. And I put those around the snowflakes. And then I also put some up in the top left-hand corner of the card. But I turned the card on accident, so that part isn't on the screen. And I'm just attaching those with glossy accents. I decided the card needed a little bit more on the front, so I used this marker. It's a glitter marker or silver from Nouveau. And then I used my art glitter glue to attach some snowflakes from another Smarklets mix. And it looks iridescent, but when I put it on the card, it turned out a little bit more pink and kind of peach color. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a like. Be sure to hop along to the next people on the video. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel. Also, I'll leave links to the products that I use in the description below. These links don't cost you anything to use, but it does give me a small percentage of a commission whenever anyone uses those links. And that helps support my channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.